Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate Sonar Cube with GitHub Actions. We talked about GitHub Actions in our previous video. We understood that GitHub Actions has a lot of CACD capability, isn't it? Using GitHub Actions, we can automate our CACD workflow so we don't have to, uh, especially if you're working for a company, you know, they are using GitHub as a source code management tool. Uh, you can simply use GitHub Actions in order to implement your CACD capability. You don't have to go for any third party CACD tool. This video, we are going to talk about how we can integrate SonarCube with GitHub Actions in order to automate our code quality scan. Let's look at the reference architecture here. So if you see here, uh, I do have a Java project configured in uh, GitHub. So this is my Java project. It's a very simple Java web application, nothing fancy about it. And then uh, we are going to integrate with SonarCube. So I have already configured SonarCube in AWS Cloud. So this is my SonarCube. I already logged in. I logged in as administrator. Uh, so SonarCube can be running anywhere, isn't it? As long as it is available uh, for GitHub Actions on the internet. So you should be totally fine. You can host it in on-premises. You can host it in you know, AWS Cloud, Azure Cloud, Google Cloud. It doesn't matter. All right. And then we are going to uh, create a CACD workflow using GitHub Actions and we are going to check out code from GitHub. We are going to build using, uh, build the war file using Maven and then we are going to uh, integrate with SonarCube to perform code quality scan. And if you wanted to learn more about uh, how to set up SonarCube at all, uh, you, you know, feel free to click on this particular link. I have configured SonarCube using Docker Compose. So it's a pretty straightforward. So feel free to refer my article. Great. So we do have all the prerequisite, uh, you know, met. So let's get uh, started, right? So how are we going to achieve that? So I have captured all the implementation steps over here. So the way we are going to do that is, yes, we need to create a token in SonarCube so that using the token, GitHub can authenticate with SonarCube. And then once the, sto once the token is created, we need to, uh, you know, add as a secret in GitHub Actions. And then we will also add SonarCube URL as secret as well in the GitHub Actions. And then uh, we are going to create a GitHub Actions workflow, ML file. And then we are going to customize the workflow by adding a couple of tasks, uh, one for, uh, you know, Maven build, and then another one is for uh, uh, Sonar scan. Okay, and then we are going to run the workflow. And then finally, we are going to verify our scan report in SonarCube. So it's pretty straightforward. It's not uh, complicated at all. All we have to do is, you know, create a token and then add the token in uh, GitHub Actions and then uh, as a secret. And then, you know, create a workflow, customize a workflow, and then, and then run it, boom, you're done. All right, so let's get started, guys. So again, I also captured those steps over here as well. So let's get started with the creating a token. So let me go here. Uh, so I logged in as an administrator, that is very important. We need to create a token. So go to SonarCube uh, administration tab, security. So let's create a token. You can give any name for the token, it doesn't matter. So global analysis token. Uh, so I'm okay with the 30 days uh, expiration, click on generate. So there you go. So that is our token. So after that, what we have to do is register uh, the token as a secret. Okay. So let me go back to the step here. So you can see here, we need to go to our repo and settings. So let me go into repo. So this is the repo and go to settings. Go to secrets and variable and click on actions. And this is where we have to uh, register that information. So if you're wondering, how do I come to know, right? So if you're wondering, how do I come to know about it, right? So let me show you a small link here. So so I think we talked about uh, marketplace, GitHub marketplace, right? Earlier, GitHub Actions marketplace. So if you wanted to integrate any uh, third party tool, so you can come here and then you can just simply search here, right? So if you just uh, search on our cube uh, in github.com marketplace, so you can see here, right? So if you click on this particular action and then they themselves provided, uh, you know, the sample workflow ML file, isn't it? And then if you see here, so these, uh, you know, uh, to, these variables are really important. Okay, so Sonar token and then Sonar host token, right? Okay, and then this is the kind of action, how it is going to be like that, right? Something like that, all right? Okay, so we need to have these, uh, you know, variable, uh, you know, captured. Similarly, I also have a documentation from SonarQ website. So if you see here, 
they talked about you know how you can analyze using GitHub Actions. So they also they mentioned that you know we need to have these tokens. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and create them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and then click on repository secret. So let me see. So it has to be Sonar token. That is a secret name. And then let's go ahead and then add that value, which we just created here. Copy that. Perfect. And then let's also go ahead and then add Sonar host URL. So this is actually nothing but uh, the Sonar cube uh, URL. So new repository secret. Okay, so let's add this. Let's add our uh, URL here. Perfect. We don't have to give anything after port number 9000, add secret. Perfect. So we have added these two secrets. I think that is actually good. The next step would be, you know, the next step would be to go ahead and then create a CACD workflow ML file. Great. So let me go back to the repo. And like I said, this is a very simple Java application. And I also have palm.xml already created. All this, uh, you know, uh, palm.xml says is, you know, uh, build the war file. That's all. Nothing fancy about it. So let's get started, right? Uh, let's go ahead and click on add file, create a new file. So as we all know that we need to create that uh, a workflow ML file. So it has to be in this format, right? So GitHub. Uh, folder and then slash workflows folder slash uh, we have to give any name so I'm going to give something like sonar scan dot ML file okay great and then uh, like I said uh, you know how to get uh, documentation either you can go to uh, sonar cube website okay you can also get that uh, documentation and then customize customize the workflow uh, this is slightly complicated in my opinion, uh, but I'm going to go and you know refer uh, what is there out in the marketplace. Okay, all right. But I have already customized everything over here. You can see here, right? I have already customized everything. So if you are seeing here, so basically what we are going to do is yes, we are going to check out the code, uh, and then we are going to uh, install JDK on that uh, runner. So this is the um, GitHub hosted runner and then we are going to perform Maven build okay and then we are going to uh, perform sonar scan okay so let me copy the entire workflow ML file all right perfect so if you see here uh, so this is like this workflow would be triggered whenever there is a git uh, push into the repository. So that's what this is, right? So we talked about GitHub Actions in our previous video. Uh, GitHub Actions is completely uh, event driven, isn't it? And then I also added this particular line item here as well. So this is nothing but just to invoke uh, the workflow manually. Okay, and then this is the uh, GitHub hosted runner. So this is to check out the code, install JDK on the runner. Uh, and then this is mainly for building a Java project using Maven. And then this is actually for performing Sonar scan. Uh, so a couple of items are really important here. Uh, it is important that you need to declare the project key over here. If you don't declare the project key, uh, it is going to fail. Okay. And then these are our secrets, what we have already captured under settings. So that is that is so that is pretty much over there. Okay, so very simple uh, workflow ML file, and then click on commit changes, commit changes. So as soon as you commit the code, uh, just like we saw, uh, because of there is a push, right? So this will go ahead and and then you know trigger the action. So let's go to the action tab. There you go. You all can see, right? So the build is already queued, started uh, running now. So let me click on this one. And you can also click on this just to see the console output. Checking out the code, 
installing JDK on the runner. Now it has started the Maven build. Perfect. Now it has started sonar scan as well. Loading the rules, everything. Awesome. So looks like this is done. Now let's log in to sonar queue. Go to the projects tab. Boom. Wow. See here guys. So 37 seconds ago, we were able to run the scan. Wow. Six bucks. That is a bit scary. So click on six bucks. You all see here guys. So it kind of shows all the bugs here. Let me just click on a bug here. Uh, I know what this is all about. Uh, let me see if we can fix some of the bugs in the code real quick. Of course, this is the responsibility of a <laughs> developer, but let's, let's quickly fix it and then see uh, whether we are able to, you know, see the difference or not. Okay. So this says that title tag is missing. Okay. Let's add the doc type. Okay. Okay, we need to add a language and the title. Okay, perfect. Let me see if I can fix few more defects. Title tag. I think that should uh, take care of it. Let me go ahead and then commit changes. Okay. So as soon as I make a code change, this should go ahead and then run the build. Let's see. So scan is done. So let me go back to Sonar Cube. Go to projects. Wow. See here guys. Now we don't see any more bugs. So yeah, so that's it guys, you know, that's how you can integrate SonarCube with the GitHub Actions. Uh, that's how, you know, you can perform code quality scan. Thank you for watching this video.